In the next section, we will look in more detail at four manual well drilling techniques. Rota sludge is a technique that uses circulating water to remove the cuttings from the hole. The up and down motion of the drill, combined with a partial rotation, cuts into the ground. The cuttings flow up the hollow drilling stem and are removed from the well. Therefore, there is no need to remove the tools to clean out the hole. As the well is drilled deeper, additional pipes are added to the drilling stem. Rota sludge is ideally suited to wells drilled in clay soils to the depth of 30 meters. Hand augering is a technique that is ideally suited to drilling in unconsolidated soils to depths of about 15 meters. It uses different drill bits depending on the soil type. The auger is turned so that the bit cuts into the ground until it is full. Once the bit is full, all the tools are lifted out of the hole and the auger is emptied. As the hole gets deeper, extensions are added to the auger. Once the water table is reached, a specialized auger is used to bale the sand out of the hole using a combination of rotary and up and down motion. Hand augering is often used to start the hole in combination with other techniques. In jetting, a small motorized pump is used to pump water down the hollow drill stem. A rotational and up and down action supplied by the drillers cuts the ground. Jetting is similar to rota sludge in that circulating water is used to bring the cuttings out of the hole. The water jet also provides a cutting action. Jetting is suitable in unconsolidated soils to depths of 30 meters or more. Manual percussion drilling uses a combination of a heavy chisel-like tool to break up the formation and a baler to remove the cuttings. Manual percussion is ideally suited for use in combination with other techniques to get through hard layers. It is suitable for drilling to depths of 30 meters or more, but the progress can be slow and the labor requirements are high. I am very proud, as the mayor of Matame Rural District, to find myself today in a remote part of my district talking about low-cost technologies. I'm going to speak first, as the name indicates, about the low cost. The cost is low because everything needed in terms of spare parts can be purchased in the local market. That is to say, it can be found in the normal marketplace. This is really an advantage. Now I would like to talk about another aspect of this technology. Even the management of this modern water point has been entrusted to a group of women and men who are in the process of organizing themselves to collect at the end of each week the costs of maintenance. I hope that UNICEF or another program will be able to come into my district and provide more of these wells and rope pumps because they are less expensive and everything that is needed in terms of spare parts can be found in the local market. I insist that everything can be found locally. There are no parts that wear out that cannot be found in the local market. This is really an advantage, that we do not have to go elsewhere to order them. They are all found here. These manual well drilling techniques are each best suited for different drilling conditions. But the end result is a well that is similar to a machine drilled well, but at a small fraction of the cost. The design of the apron, gravel pack, sanitary seal, drainage channel, and soakaway pits are consistent with the national norms for machine drilled wells. By creating the local capacity and reducing the costs, it will become easier for individuals and communities to invest in improving their own water supply.